So why is there a flat iron in my CNC workshop? Well, I'm excited to share this with you. Now, when I worked at JPL NASA, I noticed that my machinists would never mechanically clamp down any fragile glass surfaces, such as uh, optical glass. Uh, they would use an expensive hot plate and an expensive adhesive wax to hold the material during machining. And I said to myself, Self, I bet you there's something that we can use from this idea in my workshop. Well, here we are. What you need is a $5 flat iron, a cheap piece of material. Here's a $10 piece of aluminum I got out of the scrap bin. You need some 99 cent store or Dollar Tree hot glue. You don't need much. Take a little piece, chop it up, break it into little pieces like what we're doing here. And if you know where you want to put them, lay out the hot plate. Um, or just uh, put the glue on, put it on the flat iron, I mean hot plate, wait a couple of minutes. And on this particular shot, you can see a line and a couple of circles. I'm being particular where I want the adhesive to be and not to be. Using my nut and bolt collection to hold the material while it dries or cools. And the machine is normal. Don't hold back. I have never lost a part during machining. Yet. Ask, does it work with metal? Oh, you betcha. To remove it, you put your hot plate back on your flat iron, wait slightly less than two minutes until the glue loosens up, and then pull your part off. Now you say to yourself, self, what about all this sticky hot glue? It washes right off with a little isopropanol alcohol. I have a link in the description. Now, because that metal plate is so flat, it's easy to leave about a 10,000th onion skin to secure your part so it doesn't fly off. I hope you learned something. I hope you try it. Talk to you soon, guys and girls.